Hi everybody, Kara13 here. I'm here to do um, a book mail video. It's been a couple of uh, days since my last video, so I decided it's about time. And I've also gotten some amazing books in the mail um, to share with you, or at least one of them that I know will be amazing. The other three are kind of a mystery. Um, I am expecting two books that I won recently. One I won from Goodreads and one I won from a little blog called um, The Dark Side of Romance. Um, which is um, run by my friend Paulina Woods, um, who is also an author. Um, so I'm not sure what books came in, but we're going to start with the one I do know, okay? So the first book that I know came in, um, this is my, my new Ink Bleeds book, book from um, Robert Tamagotchi. Um, my friend, I, I know him better as Robert Dead Ponies, and most people do too, if, if you know him. He's a really awesome person with a great talent for writing. Um, I own all of his books. Alright. It. I love the cover. Look at how cool that is. Um, Robert's new book is part of his Me and My Friend Maddie book series. I have them all and I've read them all. They're excellent. I recommend them for all goth people everywhere. Um, and it's, the new book is the fourth volume. It's called The Dead Girl. I like heart and stuff. Um, I can't wait to read it. Um, Kara, thank you for your support. I hope you enjoy the book. And it's uh, written by Robert Tomaguchi and illustrated by Kimberly Throb. Um, and his uh, printing company is called Inkbleed Books. And I'm absolutely excited to read it. Um, let me read the back cover to you. Maddie has a new boyfriend, which sends her BFF on a quest to find a girlfriend. Following a series of dates, he finally meets a girl he truly likes. Everything is perfect until he discovers something peculiar about her and is forced to decide if, if it is a relationship deal breaker. So, I can't wait to read this. It's going to be awesome! Um, so yeah, I just got this. This is so great! Um, I have my other ink lead books. Ooh! Right here, they fell over. Not that I don't love them because they fell over. It's just I'm missing actually a couple of books. I'm missing a box full of books from my um that's still in my uh, garage from my move, and I haven't. I know I'm such a bad, bad, bad person for leaving my books in the garage, but they'll be safe. They're in a nice, tight, airlocked box. Okay, so the next book I got, um, I'm not really sure who this is from, um, but, I mean, it's for me, so it says my name, and it's a book, so let me just, um, I think I need scissors, oh, scissors, let me just open this, I really wonder what it is, I mean, I know, I'm expecting, um, a Symphony of Light and Winter um, by Renea Mason. Um, I won that from Dark Side of Romance. And I'm expecting Nate Bond by Jennifer Ashley, and I won that in Goodreads. Oh, it's my Goodreads book. Cool. It's by Jennifer Ashley, and it's Nate Bond. Um, I don't think this has come out yet, actually. So I'm probably going to read through this, even though it's the seventh um, book in a series. I've read books out of series out of order before if I like them, so I'm really looking excited to read this. Um, I've read some other uh, books by Jennifer Ashley before, so I know she's a talented author, and I look forward to reading that. Okay, and then I got another book. Um, not quite sure who this one is from either, but I mean, it's a book, and it's for me, so let's open this up and see what this is. So, I don't think it's the book from Dark Side of Romance, but maybe it is. Oh, it is! Symphony of Light and Winter by Renee Mason, and I got, I won this from, um, The Dark Side of Romance, which is a blog, and I'm excited to read this. It looks excellent. 
Ooh. Oh, and it's signed. That's awesome. I love signed books. I didn't know it was going to be signed. That's awesome. Okay, let me read the back cover to you. One woman, seven men, all bound by one man's undying devotion. Fundraiser Lyndon Helen has a knack for reading people. She always knows which conversations will pull a prospective a prospect at ease, which drink will loosen a patron's lips or his wallet, and how cleavage will make a donor sweeten the deal. She's even foreseen her dateless weekends for a hundred for weekends for a hundred and sixty four times in a row. But ten years after watching life drain from her former mentors and first love's eyes, her skills for div divining the predictable are lost. When Cyril returns, he's still gorgeous, but this time he's beyond human, far less, far less dead and pissed. His lack of memory drives him to desperate acts and his turbulent reacquaintance with Lyndon pulls her into his war with a creature hellbent on his destruction. His group of six supernatural men share a tantalizing secret but despite the hunger it's love that leads her to sacrifice everything to save him. It's love that yeah sometimes I'm not good at reading back covers out loud sorry guys but it does sound extremely interesting and I'm looking forward to reading that now I have no idea what this package is none it just came for me and it's a book so I maybe I won it I don't know I don't remember winning anything else oh Another Jennifer Ashley book I won? I don't remember winning this one. This is Pride Mates. That's awesome. So now I got two in that series. I can't wait. That's so cool. That's awesome. Is this one signed as well? This one is not signed. But that's still cool. Um, so yeah, this is my little mail video. And I can't wait to read my new Ink Bleeds books. The Dead Girl. I like heart and stuff. And I can't wait to do a review and share that with you guys. So thank you all for tuning in. And subscribe if you'd like more awesome videos about books and whatnot. Starring me. <laughs> um, so thank you all. Bye.